the night of August 25th and I want to begin working on the stripey challenge that I want to participate in by um, Carolina, I don't remember her last name. This is the pattern that I am following for the top portion of the stripey challenge and, but I've already actually traced out the bodice front piece. I haven't been cutting into this because I kind of want to preserve it in case I want to use it again and I don't want it damaged. Um, but I'm going to do the back pieces, the sleeves, and side pieces. I'm going to get those all traced and then I can start cutting out the fabric. This is the paper that I'm using to trace out the pattern on. Um, this way the pattern is preserved um, and then I can just uh, trace out the size that I need. And then if what I trace out gets damaged at all, it's fine because I can retrace it um, because I have a whole roll of this stuff. It's a very thin uh, paper. Hey, sweetie. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start tracing everything out, cutting it out, and then getting it ready to start on this project. So I just cut out the pagoda sleeves. Um, now you are supposed to kind of attach these two pattern pieces together to make um, sleeves one, uh, one piece. But the way the stripes were on the fabric and trying to save as much fabric for the skirt as I can, um, I had to cut the pieces out separately. I'm gonna go ahead and sew the sleeve pieces together. Hi, Kitty Pie. Um, yeah, I'm gonna sew the sleeves together and then I will begin working on the bodice, doing um, darts and assembling it and things like that. All right, so for the most part, I finished the sleeves and I am in love with them. Hello, beautiful baby. Aren't they cute? And just for funsies, I kind of wanted to look at the braided trim that I have that I might use for the ends of the sleeves and then possibly around the neckline and maybe around the bottom of the skirt, but I might have to get more. I think I'd have plenty of the black, but I don't know if I'd have enough of the red. Um, I have five yards of the red and I think 10 yards of the black. But um, the black is nice and subtle. It's also a little bit thinner than the red one I have. It's about a fourth of an inch wide. Hello, baby. Anyways, this is sort of what the black trim would look like along the edge. And it's nice and subtle. But then, like, the red really pops against the black and the white. And it makes my heart happy. It brings me joy. So. I might actually go with red because I think it'd be cute to have a pop of color, but I'm really excited now that I have been working on this stripey challenge. It is going to be so cute. All right, so it, the top is definitely coming together. Here's what it looks like so far. I still need to do hooks and eyes down the front, and I need to hem the sleeves and hem the bottom edge. Um, and then, hi baby. Yeah? And then, um, what else do I need to do? Um, yeah, put on some trim, I think, and then I think I'll pretty much be done with the bodice part, and then I'll get to work on the skirt. It is very hot right now, and um, uh, I had to turn off my air conditioner because of the sound, but it does kind of pull a lot where um, my bust line is at its widest, so it's a little bit tight in the bust line, but it seems to fit in the waist pretty good. The sleeves are okay. This neckline is like not great as it is. It's like too tall. I might make like a, maybe the square neckline. I think that's the other version of a neckline, but I might have to change that just so it's not like this. I don't know, it seems loose. Hmm. Anyways, so this is what my stripey challenge outfit looks like so far. Okay, I just cut it and just aesthetically to me, that neckline looks so much better than what it was before. 
So I cut it a little bit more and I am a lot happier with that neckline than the neckline that was like really close up to my throat. So um, we veered a little bit from the original idea, but that's going to be okay. Um, so I'm going to be turning in the edge of this and sewing um, that down. And then maybe I'll get into putting on some of the trim. I also have to hem the sleeves. I think they're a little bit long on me, so that's another thing I might need to change. All right, so this is what the neckline looks right now. It's too loose, like here. So I think I'm gonna do, it might not be historically accurate, but I think I'll do darts at the top here. Hopefully it'll help it fit better. I actually do have an idea on how to fix it. I might do like bows down the front and um, then it would kind of hide this and I think it'd be super cute. So that's what I'm kind of thinking. I have just begun starting to work on the skirt. I've already cut out one panel and now I'm about to cut out the second. Um, the stripe is run longwise instead of widthwise, so I have to cut like the strips this way um, so that the lines will be vertical on the skirt. So this is what I'm working on at the moment. The skirt is probably going to be super easy. Um, so um, right now I, I measured over my like hoop skirt thingy. It isn't historically accurate, but it's what I'm going to use for now because I don't want to make one right now. So I'm cutting it to be like 39 inches long and I think that's going to be okay. go ahead and get back to this project and work on gathering all of this fabric to become my very full gathered mid 1800s <laughs> skirt. This is so much fabric to gather by hand, but I better get started now.